Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm Cassie and I'm here to watch a movie with you. Thank you for being here. You're the best. I hope your summer is off to a wonderful start without allergies and sunburns and with kids that smell like sunscreen and sweat. It's a good smell. We've gone through like 14 boxes of band-aids already in our house, but you know, a sign of a good summer. Speaking of summer, I have no idea if this movie is actually summery, but it felt summery because there's a picture of a boat on the cover. <laughs> so here we are, Cassie's popcorn pick of the month. We are watching Overboard. Now, to be honest, <laughs> when I chose this movie, I 100% thought that it was Patrick Swayze as the lead male. But after seeing the cover and further inspection, I realized it's actually Kurt Russell, who I just saw in Tombstone, so I'm actually excited about that. And I just love that it's Kate Hudson's parents in this. Um, I'm hoping for a nostalgic, happy chick flick is what I'm hoping for for today. Some other fun summery movies we have coming up are Point Break, that's about surfing, I believe. Uh, Die Hard 3, someone told me, was kind of summerish. And Casino Royale. Also, there were some scenes on a boat, so summer. I saw something that said the other day on Instagram, be kind to everyone, you never know who owns a boat. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. It's great to have a friend with a boat. If you can find one. I currently do not have one, but taking applications. Okay, here we go. Overboard. Oh, remember, Patreon, like, subscribe, bell, Jaws. Let's go. Jaws is so simple. I already love it, literally from this opening music and font. I gotta check the year. 1987. Ooh, it's gonna be magic, I know it. Oh, he totally looks like Patrick Swayze in this movie. Look at the mullet. I'm into it. Oregon, I gotta go there. Five, the Immaculata. Over there. Oh. Mr. Staten? Anybody home? State your purpose. Somebody call for a carpenter? That's my wife's department. Excuse me, could you tell me where your wife might be? It's, it's, it's Grandfather Gilmore. You're Hello. The carpenter. Dean Prophet. You're late. Oldie Hawn? This is just beautiful. What a... Try not to touch anything. You know, maybe you'd like to take fingerprints before I get started. He's so... he's cute. She sounds mean. Don't walk so close to me. Gosh, what a snob! And here. I need new shoe racks for my shoes. I was told that this was some kind of an emergency. It is. I need drawers for my lingerie. I understand. You want me to remodel your closet. Isn't that what I've been explaining in some detail? Is English your second language? He's a joy. Must I specify that you are to pack good caviar? Caviar should be round and hard and of adequate size. And it should burst in your mouth at precisely the right moment. You have exactly 48 hours. I suggest you get started. Or else what? Oh boy, she is really something. Now you do the bidding for me at the auction. What are those shows? 1,700,000. I'm scared. Hello. You know, forks were invented to try to control your bodily noises. Girl's out of control. There's not really people that are that rich and snobby and rude, right? That elk snout mountain man is still working on my closet, wetting all over the place. I doubt if he's even housebroken. No. Shh, he's listening. It's your project, Joanna. You deal with it. I don't know that she can redeem herself for me, ever. Like, I don't know what life-turning event could happen. So you just turn a crank here, those drop back, these split, and come from behind. Stop boring me with your absurdities. What's it made of? Oak. 
Oak? Why am I even amazed? Closets are made of cedar, otherwise we get mobbed. That's gonna more than double my estimate. And it was really cool! You're fired. Oh, you're unbelievable. Just pay me the money you owe me. Job was not done to my satisfaction. <gasps> pay me the 600 bucks you owe me and I'm gone! Start up the engine! You know what your problem is? You're so bored, you gotta invent things to about. Your closet was fine. You just needed something to take up your useless, rich, sun-tanning day. <laughs> And I'm not going anywhere. And hey! You owe me 600 bucks! Keep going! What? A B word. I lost all my tools. I need a steady job. Hey, what about that nighttime thing? Uh, I'm working at it. Pretty soon we'll get that miniature golf course deal. We'll be in business. If I can hang on that long. You wanted to build $1.7 million on a painting and you won't pay him $600? Grant mentioned having a baby again. What should I do? If you have a baby, we won't be the baby anymore. Well, I must go. Bye-bye, mommy. Bye-bye, sweetie. Your heavens. Are you going to bring me my lemon or do I have to squeeze it from my hat? I'm like really searching my brain how she could redeem herself. Are you Mr. Prophet? Yeah, probably had a day like I did. Monday is their first day of school. I came here to welcome your family. Toilet papered by your children. They were about to douse the toilet paper with gasoline. Your children are monsters. Now, no, no, you won't think that once you get to know them. It's children. She died three years ago. If you don't do something, I am going to notify authorities. I'm a good father. Wait, I'm sad. Are they home alone all day? I left my wedding ring on the deck. Well, can I do it? Go and get it. I just want to see who's in the top 10 yachts. I'll get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that rock. <gasps> Wait a second. Mystery woman was picked up by the Elk Cove garbage cow. Now they fished her out of the water, all right. Problem is, she seems to be suffering from amnesia. Can you tell us what the mystery woman was like when you brought her aboard? We bring on board him. On yes, board? we say we foca. Oh, foca, uh, we say. Me. Foca, foca means seal in Portuguese. Oh, I see. Oh. Thank you. Garbage I do for money. Uh -huh. For love, I sing. <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Bobby, can we roll that uh, tape now, please? Oh, miss, miss uh, do you know your, your name? It's absurd. I know it. it Oh, get that thing out of my face. Oh, you think she'd be nice, but without her memory, but she's still not. How temporary is it? Well, we don't know other than that. As of now, I have a life history of a dirty garbage scowl. Now, I refuse to be incarcerated in this semi-private room. No, I never saw her before in my Ooh. life. Oh my gosh! Um, I saw some potato chips around the corner here. Can I? Okay, one bag. That smile probably gets him. Mystery woman is still suffering from complete but temporary amnesia. When please come to Elk Cove Hospital immediately. I'll put up the reward myself. He's not the nicest person in the world, this lady. Look at this. Care for, but. <laughs> That's her. Who? We should go down to the hospital and see if we can get some of your money back. She doesn't know who she is. You think she's gonna know who I am? Billy, there is a God and he loves me. What's he gonna do? I was beginning to wonder if a woman like that actually had a husband. She does. The personal effects you might recognize. Some initials here, she didn't know what they meant. J.S. Bought these for the garage sale. Yep. That's her. Oh my gosh. He's pretending... He's gonna pretend that she's his wife? Annie! Stop! I don't recognize this man. Uh, I can't believe she doesn't know her own husband. This missing link person is not my husband. Oh, Annie. That's not right. That's not my name. I am your husband. My name is Dean Prophet. I truly, from the depths of my soul, do not remember you. Don't you think there'd be some spark of recognition? Maybe you'll spark to this. <gasps> Some stranger off the street. He's a nice guy. He's good looking. Wayne. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's my maiden name? Gulahi. Annie. You better. Gulahi. Acts better. Where did I meet you? Hank's Donut World. Seattle you used to hang out there every night when you were still in the Navy. You gotta know you were in the Navy. He's actually pretty good at this. I'm gonna need some verification. She does have a small strawberry like birthmark. Uh, it's kind of high up on her. Oh, on the 
in the, the swimsuit. Come to daddy. How is this end for him? What's he gonna do with her? What was I doing out in the ocean? Well, you see, that's something you like to do. You know, dive for oysters at night. Oysters in a cold ocean at night? That doesn't sound like me. Welcome home, baby. Come on, Buster. Come on, Jackson. With the kids behind these. Come along now. A couple of weeks. Storm doors. A lot of stuff still left in boxes from the moon. We moved here deliberately. She still has like the rich person's voice. Deliberately. Let me show you around. Maybe something will come back to you. I have a dining room and toilet. And here we are at the old uh, magic room. Got a lot of miles on that mattress, huh? All right. How many kids does he have? Ah! Here come. Ah! Whoa! Hey, look who's home. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. They're not mine. Honey, I was sure you'd remember them. Well, that's about it, except for... <laughs> this garment cannot possibly be a part of my wardrobe. It happens to be 12 sizes too large. Come on, honey. You gotta admit, you've lost a lot of weight. It used to be like a balloon. Okay, in the middle, we got the twins. That's uh, Greg and Charlie here. We got the big guy. 11 pounds, 5 ounces. <laughs> Give it a try. What's his name? I can't believe the kids are going along with it. Roy? No. Travis. Hi, Bob. My name's Joe. A falsetto child? Uh, he thinks he's Pee Wee Herman. Oh, they're great boys, aren't they? There's so many of them. Well, you've always had your heart set on six, so... I don't want to hear anymore. Baby, let's... What's going to happen when she does remember? They said temporary amnesia. He could go to jail. Are you and Uncle Billy really going to open up a miniature golf course? <sighs> Look at me, Dad. Nothing's happening. Gotta light the burner. <laughs> I'll get the burn ointment. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Oh, I feel stressed. Well, now we know they work. I feel very stressed in this environment. Don't leave me alone. Oh, come on, honey. That's not fair. You know we live like this. When are you coming home? When I feel like it. It just depends on how drunk I get. I cannot believe he's doing this. How long are you gonna keep her? I say, 25 bucks a day, huh? Think a little wifey poo can work off what she owes me and a little over a month. First night with her, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a belt <laughs> with the overalls. <laughs> we did it on the first date. Did it right there in the parking lot of the 7 Eleven. Why? No boom boom? You probably just wanna go right to sleep and. Yes. No boom boom. The couch. The reason you got a bad back because the bed's too soft for you. Oh, <laughs> crap! I feel sorry for her. I'm a short, fat slut. <laughs> really want to get in there and clean for her. Remembering things? Holy cow, she looks like Kate Hudson. <gasps> Gotta fix the kids' lunches or they're gonna miss their bus for school. I don't care. Okay, they'll just be with you all day. No! I'm off to work. Your list of daily chores. Zippity ding da, zippity yay. Got a wonderful sleigh. You are a genius. <laughs> Aww. You're living in a nightmare that starts at the crack of dawn. Oh. Oh no. Oh gosh. I do love a cleaning montage, but this might kill me. I've never seen these contraptions! Make it stop! Make it stop! Oh! She's been like that for an hour now. She's getting better though. Better? She destroyed the scarecrow, Ted. What's for dinner? 
Will you trade her in for a new one? Nah, she'll be all right. Feel better? I don't belong here. I can't do any of these vile things, and I wouldn't want to. My life is like death. My children are the spawn of hell. You're the devil. Baby, we like you. Do you think she'll figure out we're tricking her and leave? Not if we don't blow it. What are you doing? Scrapbooks, photographs, something that will spark some wisp of a memory. You know, we lost a lot of stuff in the move. Closet and you, something's familiar. We used to do it in the closet. I want you to stop everything, go on in here, take a bath, and I'm gonna look for the pictures first thing in the morning, okay? I don't know how this ends. Remember in high school how you faked our IDs? It's my wedding day. Why do I look so annoyed? Why do I have this depressed look on my face all the time? We were grumpy a lot. Thin, fat, thin, but Was fat. I always this miserable? I mean, you're the happiest little wife and mother in the world. Before you lost the weight. Can you believe it? Are you satisfied? I was pregnant. Those are the pictures of him with his other wife. I'd like to speak to my daughter. They've gone out shopping. I was wondering when that was going to catch up to them. <laughs> he was staring at me with his mouth open all through dinner. Billy was your high school boyfriend. You, you don't get any of the old feelings back when you look at him, do you? He is. This is gonna work. My ideas always work. I was thinking about it. Ew. What need here is a course. Uh, all we need is a couple of contraptions. You can knock some golf balls. Go in here, Billy. I have my eyes closed. Thirty-two ten. Oh. <laughs> oh. Who did this? You guys are begging for it, I'm telling you. What are you blustering about? You'll never punish He's them. He's up there, Ooh. Love Chop. These words. <laughs> love Chop, Twinkle Toes, Sugar Butt. None of this ever bothers you. Bothered me before. Well, it bothers me now. <laughs> well, you really got it here right where you want her, don't you? you? Got everything under control. Nope. I don't. Because I only got six. I'm just going to have to send out the old ball and chain to buy some more. <laughs> <laughs> He's making me a little mad now. Your chocolate cream pie. There we are. Honey, we need forks! Yeah. Sugar lips! In the living room. He's into it. Oh my gosh! She went this way. This way, guys. I've got you. All right, time to get up. Go to the bathroom and do what you normally do. Prophet boys, come up here. Miss Pitt Cannon tells me you don't want to take these tests. And these scores will determine your placement. You must really concentrate. What? What's wrong with them? Is anyone at your home? Yeah, our mom is. Your, your father remarried? Um, yeah, we got a new mother now. Then I'm calling both your parents. What's wrong with them? Some kind of poison ivy? Your children are a discipline problem. I know. Now, I believe their problems exist because of deficient parental guidance. I'll see you later in the cafeteria. Has it escaped your attention that these children have poison oak? My children are in need of medical assistance, and you can sit here and smugly lecture me on the importance of tests? And my husband may be a large child, but that's none of your business. And my children may be rotten, but they're mine. So I have no doubts whatsoever about their intelligence. I do, however, However, have serious doubts about yours. You tell her. Dad never did that. <laughs> I want you to read this. You see what it says? Don't get near your eyes. Read on. What's this all about? He's embarrassed because he doesn't know how to read. The teacher makes fun of him. Dean. Yeah. Where are you going? Out. If I could ever find my. Not tonight. We we have to talk. What's on your mind, Sugar Lips? Stop calling me Sugar Lips. I have a name. Get to the point, Annie. I got things to do. Ew. I want you to start taking on some grown-up responsibility. Me too. They need guidance from you. She's right, though. It's okay. We're pals. They have enough pals. They need a father. Now you're stepping over the line here, Annie. It's none of your business anyway. My children I... are none of my Look, business. I have. Now I'm late. Okay. Now he's being. A jerk. So now I don't know if I can forgive him. Oh, 
I'm sorry I came down on you so hard before. You know, I think you're doing great. I mean, what you said about me and the boys tonight, uh, I guess you probably, you know, maybe you got a small point there, and I, I just, I can't talk to you while you're turned away from me. Will you just please? Huh? No. Why? Because I'm so ugly. I got poison oak. Normally, you look yeah. real pretty. You just don't now. <laughs> I lost my wedding ring at sea. Tell me something about my life, about my past. Oh, uh, okay. Why is he so sweaty? From bowling? You were working at, yeah, Burger Boy over in Louisville. And uh, this kid started choking on a french fry. Everybody in the place panicked, including me, except for you. They gave him that Heimlich and phew, kid puked up the fry and they named you Burger Boy Employee of the Month. I was really proud of you. You can be quite charming when you want to be. You just caught me on a bad day. I think that story was about his wife. What do you think about this, huh? Sink him and drink him? 18 holes of miniature golf based on famous brewery? It's a lousy idea. What about other places? Foreign places? Mais oui, la Tour Eiffel comme c'est joli. I speak French. Do I know what I said? Yes, I do. What'd you say? I must have learned that in Paris. Go on. Well, like uh, the Taj Mahal, Seven Wonders of the World. Yeah, bring the wonders yes. of the world to the people of El Co. What's this? Travis found a girlfriend. Don't knock her up! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, Egyptian pyramids. There's the Eiffel Tower. Isn't Dad gonna eat dinner with us tonight? No, he had to go out. He had to go bowling this time. You know, it's pretty hard to go bowling without a bowling ball. I was gonna say, he's not cheating on her, is he? But they're not technically together, but it would look like that. This ain't your average pile of fertilizer. Here we go. After this, you get the shovel fish gun. Now, don't be nervous, okay? Oh, yeah. We don't get it, so what? Oh, man. I said there was no life event that could make me like her again, but... The wonders of the world finish your golf course. What sure, we're trying to do is so bring nice. some of this outer world to the uh, promoter spot you're at. You know, the waitress. Get over here, Go ahead, ask me. Ask me if we got the money. Did you get the money? We got the money. Oh, great! Yes. Oh, that's so great! He's got three choices. So this time, it's going to go down through the oil funnel. He is an inventor, just like the closet. I got to tell Delicious. her, Billy. Really. What? I got to tell Annie the truth. I'm going to tell her, OK? I mean, I know it's time to tell her. I will re 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 reduce. reduce your puny planet. That's very good, sweetie. Are you gonna leave? No, I'm your mommy. Nanita. Sometimes moms leave. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Oh, what is this? She's really sweet now. You're just in time. Dr. Death is on the rampage. Uh, Annie, I need to talk to you. Something wrong? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. What is it? Uh, Annie, I've, I've done, I've done something. I just... I already know. What? What do you know? That you work nights at the fertilizer plant. Oh. I'm proud of you no matter what you do. I, I, God, I forgot your birthday. Come on, get dressed. I do like him so much more knowing that he, like, wasn't going out bowling with his friends every night and leaving her. He was actually doing work and that's why he was sweaty. Oh, this is dangerous being out with the townspeople, no? Why do they honk three times? Oh, that's the way they signal they're coming home. It's a legend of Arturo, who was a Portuguese fisherman. He met this little girl, Katarina. Eventually, they fell in love. Katarina's father told Arturo that he had to ship off. And when he came back, he'd signal three long blasts. Arturo dove right off the boat. They uh, kissed. No, they drowned. That's a terrible story. Yeah. <laughs> and every time you see the spray going up, it's them. Forever and ever. My home. My gosh. Falling in love. It's getting real, guys. It's getting real. I have very mixed emotions. She thinks she's doing it with her husband. Was it always like this? Every time with you is like the first time. He's happy. He's happy. The kids are happy. Oh, crap is gonna hit the fan. Oh, oh come on, guys. I'm just gonna get it. Surprise! A washing machine. You like it? Oh. 
She might have no but she has an eye set. What did he say? I have called every week for two months. Do you have the gall to tell me that I've missed her again? Well, she's sleeping. I don't believe you. If you do not produce Joanna in one week, <gasps> I am going to hire a mass of mercenaries to hunt you down. I believe her. Get the boat back to Elk Snout. The ceremony starts in an hour. God, mess. Feathers. J.S. Honey, would you hand me a teller? Thanks. What, what is this? I found them in the truck. I don't know what these are. I, I, uh, we gotta get going, honey. We're gonna be late for the golf. Oh, I thought her memory was gonna come back. This is nothing. Hey. Nothing? You tell me that this is nothing? I can get a divorce if I want. Do you love her? Honestly, yes and no. Not yet. Not now. J.S. is you. These are yours and we're not married there. Listen to me, honey. I'm not your husband and you're not my wife. I'm trying to tell you these aren't your kids. Don't change the subject. Who is she? Forget it. Still all clean. All right, now I just told her about her not being your mother. Dad, tell her what? She is our mother. D just tell her about the day I brought her home. She went for a swim. We were really worried. You've never seen her before in your life. Don't you speak to my children that way. I we're not going to let you ruin everything. I had my reasons. So do we. Oh, the kid. You'd rather live with her than your own father? Annie. Please tell me everything. Be honest with me. That's my underwear. Well, I don't mean I, I wear it or anything. It belongs to a girlfriend of mine. What in the hell are you talking about? The jig is up. The jig is up, Billy. I'm finally trying to tell her the truth here. I, I just did. <laughs> they, like, are convincing themselves that this is... Stop trying to cover for him, sweetie. Let's just forget it. Pretty good, huh? Did all this just to protect your own ass? No, I didn't protect your ass, okay? You belong with her. The opening of their that was so fast. We're gonna get a carnival montage. This is really good. They did really good. It'd be a wonders of the world miniature golf course if it wasn't for the imagination and the creativity of one woman. That's my Annie. Annie, you wanna come up here? I want you to be with me always. Okay, here's where it goes bad. Crap, 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 crap. I know it needs to happen, but I'm so scared. Hey, Dad, whose car is that? Maybe it's a rich relative we don't know about. Hi, Grant. She remembered his name. Yes, you're... You're Grant Staten the third. I remember. I'm Joanna Staten. Dean, I'm cured. You can't imagine how terrible it is not to know who you are. And my mom, her name is Edith. Money! I have money! Oh, God, this is the happiest day of my life. Thank you for bringing me here. Why did you do that? I know why. You're that sweaty carpenter who hates me. Oh, God. You tricked me. You used me. Annie, it just... My name is not Annie, and I don't belong with you. Wait, 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 but tell her. I have to get my thing. Tell her that he left you. Don't get any ideas. I brought Olaf. I think we can take Olaf. <laughs> she did good. Joanna, for whatever it's worth, thank you. Slim. She's got to come back to him, right? Mom, wait! Oh, shoot. That's actually really sad. Oh, shoot. That is... We lost two moms. What? You're crying overboard, right? Wasn't really fair to the kids, though. My goodness. Okay. Stop! Joanna wants to rediscover her old self. Joanna knows who she is, and she's trying to behave that way. Champagne. Ah, uh, thank you, Andrew. Andrew, I'd love a beer. A beer? That's wrong, isn't it? Nothing is ever wrong. I really don't see the harm in accommodating her wishes, Andrew. Mother, would you like some? I'd love some. Put that down. Good God, Joanna, we have servants for that. Well, I thought you might be hungry. That's excellent. That's excellent. 
What's excellent about it? I was hungry. <laughs> mm. I'll stay an extra few days. Yeah. What's going on? We're getting mom back. She cuts the crust off the bread. She doesn't take any of my sh either. I need discipline. Whoa. We're gonna go rent a fishing boat, then we're gonna go get her back. Maybe she'll change her mind and come back. Yeah, right, Dumbo. We gotta do something. Right, Dad? Wrong. Now, she's gone, guys. She's got her rich husband back, a rich life, and that's the end of it. Wait, more comforting speech. Lick. Shake. Shake. Lick. Oh. Suck. Mm. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. I've behaved so badly. I don't know how you put up with me for so long. Wow. I've never even once said thank you. I'm sorry. Wow. She totally redeemed herself. Now, you, madam, on the other hand, have had the rare privilege of escaping your bonds for just a spell. See life from an entirely new perspective. How you choose to use that information, madam, is entirely up to you. We've never really had time to talk. No, we, we haven't. Well, there's no time now. What are you doing? I'm turning the boat around. Why? I'm going home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is the land on the wrong side of the yacht? Oh, she did. Well, she's gone too far this time. I think she's dealing with an idiot. I suppose we're heading back to the jungles of Oregon. I want to go back, Rand. To him. I'm sorry. You haven't begun to be sorry, you hillbilly harlot. Okay. Now I'm in charge. We're coming about. Do you see the boat? <gasps> She's gonna honk three times. <laughs> the Coast Guard! It doesn't matter what you do, I'm getting off at the next port. Nobody leaves a state. I don't love you anymore, Gray. But what has love got to do with marriage? They should have kept you in the psycho ward of that hospital. How did you know that? You left me there, didn't you? Yes, he did. I was whacking the donkey with painted ladies. They loved me. I did leave you. Whacking the donkey. We're at sea, and I'm a god at sea. Dr. Corman Grant's having another nervous breakdown. He thinks he's God. I need to stop him. Oh, no, go straight. Go straight. Straight ahead, sir. Identify. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Turn the boat around. Lean on the bridge. Oh, three times. He's here. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman! Here, the personnel! Who's Pee Wee Herman? Oh boy. Her boys. Billy, what's going on? We're turning around! They're going after salmon poachers! Katarina! I'm <laughs> I cannot let you do this. Not without a life jacket. You really should play a little hard to get. Tell my mother I'll call her! Halt! You treasonous trap fool! Yes, Andrew! I am giving my notice, sir. <laughs> You know what makes this even better? That they are in love in real life! I'll never leave you again! I'll never let you go! I can't believe you did it! But you jumped, so no, I jumped! No, I don't mean that! I can't believe you gave all that up just for me! The truth is that it's mine! The boat, the money, everything! Dean, it's okay! It's hers! Did you tell him? They're making out their Christmas list. <laughs> They're making out their Christmas list. What could I possibly give you ever that you don't already have? A little girl. You just call me, and I'll be there for you. That was everything. Okay, that was kind of rom com gold. I loved every second of it. It was exactly what I wanted. It was funny and heartwarming. He was like Mr. Sweet, charming next door himself, 
but they both had, you know, to turn towards each other because both were being horrible for a minute. And when they fell in love, she became such a good mom and they loved her and it was a happy ending and I loved it. I want to watch every single Kurt Russell film because I have adored Tombstone and this. Tell me what else to watch. Goldie Hawn, she was perfect in it and lovable which you would never believe if I told you that in the first 10 minutes of the show. I just don't make them like that anymore. Is it because like our world isn't romantic anymore because of the internet and cell phones and I don't know, but I do know that I had like, I just, you know, it just made you smile the whole time. So I feel like this is one I could watch over and over and like it might even be like a new comfort movie because i know the ending and on rewatch i could just catch even more and they lived happily ever after and here's what's gonna happen she is gonna get her little girl but they know that the dangers of money that they can turn you into such you know like that kind of person so they're not gonna go crazy or anything they are going to live a comfortable very comfortable but modest life they're going to stay true to their roots and they are gonna go country dancing every tuesday and he's gonna become an amazing builder for her friends they're gonna build miniature golf courses for orphanages that, you know, are super cool like that and travel the world together. And the boys are just gonna be loving good boys and they're gonna be a sweet family and they're gonna live happily ever after. Okay, I had so much fun. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I'll see you guys next time.